All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So we are here with another video. In this one, we're looking at my five best games that I completed this year in 2020. And I want to make this completely clear. This is not games that came out in 2020. Some are, some are not. These are just the five games that I view as the best ones that I completed this year. So with that caveat out of the way, let's roll into the game, shall we? So, and first game we have up is AI The Somnium Files. Now, if you have played Zero Escape or any game similar to that vein, you will know exactly what you're getting into. It is a funny as hell story, but it's also seriously somber and seriously dark. Branching paths, so many great things about this game. Story focused, so many things that I could say and go on and on and on and on about this game. But really at the end of the day is if you want a story focused game with branching paths, detective work, and you're a fan of the Zero Escape style of gaming, this is definitely up your alley. Next up, we're going to have a game I'm probably going to butcher, and I'm sorry, my enunciation is terrible. I will be the first to admit this. Next up, we have Gujan 3, and this to me is the game Final Fantasy XV should have been. You have the modern world of China mixed in with the fantasy version, so you're dealing with fairies and all the other kind of, you're dealing with all the other type of mythological stuff and elements that bring in that fantasy setting that is so missing in Final Fantasy. This has all the magic, all the combat, the real-time combat that you could want. And this, to me, was totally the game that took me out of that eh, Final Fantasy to this is what it should have been. Definitely pick this up. The only caveat I will give with this game is there's an always online requirement, but I ran this in Linux as my default OS, and I only dropped connection once, and that was over 73 hours of play. So next up, we have a game that came out quite a while ago, but I waited, and I waited, and I waited. And the reason I waited is because it was Linux native. I wanted to support the people who ported this game to Linux. Specifically, thank you, Pharaoh, for porting Shadow of the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition to Linux. Waited forever, bought it from the store. Love this game. This is the crescendo for the Tomb Raider reboot with the 2013 Tomb Raider. Really great game once all the bugs were finally worked out of it, and the Definitive Edition is really worth getting. You can get this super cheap, or super expensive either one you will get your money's worth definitely to me if you are a lennox user go and get this directly from the feral store because you will be supporting the porters and you will show them that lennox users actually like to spend money next up speaking of crescendos to a series this is one i have been playing since 2016 i have bought this series on the vita the ps3 the ps4 pc windows lennox take your pick and i've played them all I've bought and rebought this series at least four times because I love this series. This is the crescendo called Trails of Cold Steel 4. The finalization of this saga of the Trails of Cold Steel, the Legend of the Heroes game. This game nails an ending like so many other games cannot. There's wrap up, there's satisfactory, and there's depth to the combat, the art style. I love this game. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. The fact that it is finally available after so long, I cannot commend the guys over at Falcom enough for making such a great series. And if you take it as from one game all the way to the end, you will not be disappointed in the, the journey. So last up, we have Sort Art Online Alicization Lycoris. This game was released in a rough state, and this game it gets put on my list for one simple reason, and it's not because just the 157 hours I put in as a time investment into this game. This game gets put on this list for continual improvement from the developers. A lot of games nowadays get it's kind of dropped, and you're just kind of, eh, left with what you got. These guys have commendably worked on fixing the issues with some of the stuff in the game, the load times, among many other things. Not only have I put a crap ton of hours into this game, but the continued improvement, this game deserves a mention because I am a big believer in you know games as a service. Well, then you damn well better serve me right. And these guys have served me right. So say what you want about the cube shop and a few other things. The service for the 
add-ons that they have continued to put out is nothing but commendable to me. So there you folks have it. There are my five best games I have completed in 2020. What is your five? You guys know what to do. Rate it, subscribe, my Patreon, and all that stuff is you know somewhere kicking around in the links. You guys know what to do. Catch on the flip. Peace.